Graham Park. One of my heroes. Right, 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 right. Gonna have to put him on pause one second. The videos are back. What better time than ever than being on lockdown to create more videos. So this is just an introduction to the video that I recorded yesterday, which was part of a webinar that I did with Alex Wren from BitPod. Top bloke, by the way. About three and a half minutes of me just saying, if you're presenting the video and you're doing a webinar, here are some tips for you. So hopefully you find this really useful, really good just for creating videos. It's all about looking down the lens and communicating with people. Um, and also if you're gonna do webinars or Zoom calls, Skype calls for business, hopefully you find this useful. I'm gonna be doing videos from now onwards. Okay, sorry, uh, not sorry. Yeah, let's get through some tips for you there, nice and quickly. Um, the one thing I see all the time is people not staring at the camera. Uh, and basically, if I stare at myself on the screen, you can see that I'm looking down. And you'll see it all the time. If you've done FaceTime calls with family, you look at yourself in the camera. So if you can, find out where the webcam is. It's right up there on the top of my computer, and I can just stare straight down that. So if you can or you're able to, it just makes it more engaging with the audience. Um, obviously, we're on the radio. You had just a microphone to stare at, but with video, we've got the opportunity to look people back in the eyes. So if you can remember to do that, that will be a real bonus. Um, you have to be natural. You definitely have to be yourself but you have to be a slightly more animated version of yourself, possibly a little bit more over the top. Uh, and I say this because you're looking at videos of myself and Alex right now, but most of the time when you're doing a webinar, you'll probably have that PowerPoint on the screen. And if that PowerPoint's on the screen, they're not gonna see you. And if you're in the background talking quite monotone like this, then it's not gonna sound great. So you really have to kind of exaggerate yourself a little bit, do some practices, have a little watch back, get your family to cr critique you uh, because they're not gonna be afraid to do something like that. And uh, yeah, you'll just, and uh, maybe compare yourself to a TV presenter. If you really watch a TV presenter after watching this, you'll see actually how animated they are. So do have a little look at that. Practice first. You may find that you've got an absolute natural gift for this, but uh, you know, don't be afraid. Um, be aware of what you wear. As I said already, uh, we were testing this yesterday. I had a top and my microphone is just inside here and it was rubbing on some lettering I had on the front of the top. And Alex and I were spending probably five minutes trying to find out where the noise was coming from and it was right there. One really important tip, and I use this all the time, is people are here to watch you and they want you to succeed. So try and get over those nerves. They don't want you to fail, they want to learn something from you. So have the confidence that they are there to see you and you are gonna trip over your words sometimes. You are gonna make some mistakes. You are gonna have to reach for that glass of water. And it's absolutely fine. So really do just make sure that you have that confidence that people are there and they want you to do well. Uh, very rarely is there gonna be anybody in your audience that thinks, great, let's watch them make a real mess up of this. Um, you'll be screen sharing and showing presentations most of the time, so people may not even see much of you, which again is why you need to sound uh, quite, quite good and obviously have that, uh, uh, that sort of, you know, be a little bit more animated. Um, have a notepad standing by. Uh, if you just wanna make a little note, certainly if you're obviously going through your presentations, because if I, I don't know if I can do this, but, if I start tapping away on my computer, you can hear all those noises. So maybe just have a little notepad to one side just to take some certain rules. There's no one saying you can't do that, but that would be my recommendation. Just some final few tips for you now. Um, always have a glass of water standing by. Uh, it's absolutely vital, uh, as we saw from Alex there with the uh, really warm studio. It really does dry your throat up. <laughs> uh, so make sure you have that standing by. Um, nothing wrong with a cup of tea or a coffee, but be aware if it's super piping hot, uh, everybody's gonna hear that as well. Don't eat anything before you start broadcasting, okay? Uh, when we used to do the radio shows, uh, I never used to have breakfast before the show because it just makes saliva build up in your mouth and actually you'll find yourself kind of drawing in breath and stuff. So it's not pleasant for the people that are watching you. Um, I would suggest not having anything like milk or anything of a similar consistency because it kind of, it aids in the buildup of phlegm. I know that's a bit gross to say, but that's literally what happens. So just make sure you've got, uh, honestly, a glass of water is definitely the best thing you can go for. And the final tip I have for you before you start your webinar, go for a wee. And the final, final tip I have for you is record an outro before you start editing the video that you are. Uh, it's on the screen, look, I'll show you. Look, it's right there. So yeah, I'm just recording the outro. <laughs> 
Um, hope you found those tips useful. Uh, leave some comments wherever this is posted. Uh, tell me what you think. And also, if there's anything else you'd like me to advise people on. You know, I do social media. I do a lot of videos. So um, happy to help. In the meantime, remember to make the best of lockdown. Uh, I'm actually going to swap my two bedrooms around tomorrow. I'm going to go and sleep in the smaller one and create a lounge out of the bigger one. It's going to be an all-weekend project, but guess what? i got all weekend to do it. See ya!